Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Kim again. So welcome back to Advent 2 um, Kids Club. So Pastor Ted talked about um, the story of Elizabeth and Zachariah today. Um, and there's a similar theme running through a lot of the Advent movie or Advent stories right now. And that has to do with an angel bringing a message to people that there's going to be a baby born. Um, so this week, the baby that um, the angel talks about to Zachariah is John the Baptist. And John the Baptist is going to be someone really important in um, biblical times because he is um, someone that um, kind of leads the way for um, Jesus. So he's a very important person. So, uh, but once again, we have an, a similar story that happened earlier in our kids club um, messages that we have this older couple, Zachariah and Elizabeth, they're past their childbearing years um, and they really wanted a child, but God did not see fit to give them a child. And all of a sudden, Zachariah is in the temple and this angel comes up to him and says, you're going to have a baby. And what does he do? So if someone comes up to you and tells you something that's really kind of, um, you know, hard to believe news, you can either choose to believe them or you can choose to doubt them. So, and this is what the people in the next three stories um, have before them. Zechariah, on the other hand, chooses to doubt this angel who's sent from God, who's telling him that his wife is going to get pregnant with a baby. And what does the angel do? The angel takes his ability to speak away, goes, and all of a sudden he can't talk. And he's not going to be able to talk and tell anyone about what is going on until the birth of this baby. So, uh, let's see. So there were three people there in this story. There was um, Zechariah, who doubted him. There was Elizabeth, who kind of went, I don't know how this is possible. And then there's the baby. And um, so they all played an important part. So how did they each hear the word of God? So once again, Zechariah doubted the angel. Um, Elizabeth questions how it could be and um, how it could be. Sorry, my lighting's going out. Um, and then the baby, when um, at one point in the story, um, Jesus' mother, Mary, who is co um, Elizabeth's cousin, shows up and they're both pregnant and the baby inside Elizabeth, John, jumps in the womb because he knows that he is in the presence of an important an important person who's going to be the Messiah. So if you were approached by an angel and asked to believe something that kind of was far-fetched, what do you think you would do? Would you believe it or would you doubt it? So this story teaches us that we need to believe this. We need to believe these, these stories, these messages, because they are messages from God and they are important to us. And we really need to, um, to hear his word. So will you pray with me, boys and girls? Dear Lord, please help me to hear your messages when they are sent. Help me to follow in all ways that you would have me do and to do good works in your name. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. You may go back to the Kids Club page, and there are some activity pages to do and a craft project. There's a Christmas ornament, and um, on the back of this Christmas ornament, it talks about um, through God, all things are possible. So remember that. Through God, all things are possible. Have a good week, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.